Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another Icebox video. Now, I already know what I'm going to be naming this video, so I know people are going to be showing up. They're going to be thinking, Mirai, Icebox are for solo play? Are you out of your mind? Well, the doctors, they don't want me to disclose anything at this point in time because we're still running tests. However, I will let you know that I am of sound mind as I record this particular video. Now, Icebox is obviously a program that is marketed towards multiboxing, but I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to always use it in a full party of characters that you're controlling yourself. You can use some of its features to, to do solo play with. So I've got two examples here, two examples. So normally when you're, you build your team and you're, you're creating um, DPS rotations for your classes, so you might be creating a DPS rotation for a warrior, for a paladin, for a, a mage, you know, caster, ranged, something, doesn't matter what it is, you can, of course, adapt those, those rotations to that same class at any point in time. You know, you don't have to be multiboxing at that point in time in, or, in order for that rotation to work. You can just load up World of Warcraft in this example, and I've got a paladin class rotation that, you know, I can just use. So I've created a, you know, a basic single target and just an AOE DPS rotation that I would normally use when playing a Paladin, and that's it. So now I can just be lazy and run around with my single target, a little, little DPS, a little AOE there. You know, of course, as any multi-boxer knows, you can't build the perfect rotation. You can't, this isn't going to net you the best DPS you can get, right? I mean... It's more or less, it's, it's not an I win button, it's more or less a, an I'm lazy button. So, you know, World of Warcraft, for example, I mean, this is old content, this is Karazhan, but, uh, you know, if you wanted to jump into, like, World of Warcraft's LFR, and you wanted to just be, you know, kind of play mindlessly, as most people do in LFR, um, you know, you could just load in your class rotation, your class rotations to that particular class that you're playing, and be good to go. So this, this entire time, I've just been pressing one of two keys, and my paladin's just kind of been going through the motions as what he should normally be doing for the most part. Of course, it's not perfect. Like I said, this is not going to net you the best DPS, but it will make things easy for you if you're feeling lazy. So anyway, that's one way to use IS Boxer, right? Adapt your class rotations to, your, to the class you're playing solo. But the second example here takes place in uh, Terra Online, and this is just an example game because Icebox it does happen to be compatible with Terra Online. So the problem with Terra Online is that the mouse wheel is hard coded to the camera. So the mouse wheel will only zoom in and zoom out and that's it. You cannot reassign the camera to any other key. You cannot reassign any action to the mouse wheel which kind of sucks, right? I love using the mouse wheel. I love having a bunch of keys and buttons next to my fingers, very accessible stuff when I'm pressing a lot of keys or when I need to be pressing a lot of keys and a lot of buttons and whatnot. So what we can do, you know, the basic functionality of Ice Boxer is to just remap keys. So what I've done is here, I've created just some simple remaps. So mouse wheel down now does six. And if we come over here, you can see here's my action bar. So mouse wheel down is going to be sending six, which is this action here on my action bar. And mouse wheel up is going to be sending F6. So these two actions respectively. Now, of course, by doing that, I lose the ability to zoom my camera in and out. So I fix that by just adding a modifier to the, to the mouse wheel, to the direction of the mouse wheel. And I just send the straight up mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down. Now, this is kind of where Eyes Boxer uh, shines compared to, say, like a registry edit for remapping or even um, using your mouse software to remap your mouse wheel. So I can remap my mouse wheel through its software. So I can change mouse wheel up to be F6. I can then change mouse wheel down to be 6. However, I can't, I can't add a modifier to my mouse wheel like I can in IS Boxer to then, you know, regain control of the camera zoom. So this is where IS Boxer kind of has the edge. So if I turn on, or I, I can just do it this way. If I turn on my key maps, if I press, if I spin the mouse wheel up, 
F6 fires off. If I spin the mouse wheel down, six fires off as it should. And then of course, if I hold shift, I can still zoom in and zoom out as I should be able to. So that's fantastic. This is one way I like to use Eyes Boxer in Terra Online so that I can remap my mouse wheel to something useful. And I'm sure there's other games out there that have hard-coded key bindings as well that Eyes Boxer is compatible with that can be used in the exact same way. And I'm sure that people can come up with, you know, Eyes Boxer is filled with features. Video effects is one feature, maybe repeater. You want to use repeater across two instances, but uh, maybe for whatever reason, I don't know. You know, maybe you want to play solo. Maybe I want to play Terra solo. And, you know, on my second screen, I want to be watching... Um, the auction house in World of Warcraft. Maybe I want to be scanning for auctions every so often. I can flip on re repeater on my main screen without even flipping over to that screen. I can hit the scan button for the auction house. Or if I need to flip over, I can flip over real fast, right? Something like that. Or you can build a window layout around that. Maybe you don't have two monitors, but you want to watch, be able to watch both screens. You can use video effects to then have a little window watching that auction house character do its thing. You can be online trying to sell items, whatever it is you need to do you know, while you play another game solo. So those are just some examples, and I'm just spitballing some things there at the end as other possible examples, but I'm sure people can get creative and come up with their own examples and own ways to use Iceboxer for solo gameplay. But that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mariah out.